All right, it's early, and it looked like garbage, but we're going, it's not about me right now. We're going to, uh, it's about five in the morning here, and we're at Hidalgo Airport in Guadalajara, <clears throat> and we're going to pick up Chris Dim. Okay, so Chris Dim's coming down. Um, he's a paralyzed guy, he's a paralyzed bodybuilder guy, and we're gonna help him out at CB Cells and Regenimex. <clears throat> we're gonna help this guy in ways that might blow his mind. Hey, we're exhausted, but we just got off the plane. Now we're heading over to the hotel. Thanks for both of these guys right here, man. Daniel and Trevor for picking us up. So appreciate you guys. Love you. So how much is today? How much? 100 million. 100 million. Yeah, 100 million. Also, we, we do the Los Angeles Plan with the government too. Have to wash a little bit the syringe, yeah, to get all the stem cells as possible. Okay, that's it. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday I had my first treatment. I had a hundred million stem cells, pretty much IV in me, and then also I had a two placenta injection, which hurts like freaking hell. Uh, but today is a new day. I can honestly tell you, I feel a little bit better. I'm a lot happier. I'm not as painful. Waking up from the uh, nerve pain that I normally feel, I feel like I've been kicked every single morning. So it's great so far. Tomorrow is going to be the big day though. They're supposed to give me 10 times the amount of stem cells IV injection. So I'm super excited. I'm going to keep you updated. And I'm going to let you know how I feel tomorrow. All right, guys. God bless. And I'll keep you updated soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. We're going to check out the laboratory where they're making the stem cells as far as developing. Uh, so that's something that I really really want to see because the biggest thing is like okay Where's the stem cells coming from? How are they making it? How they're producing it? How how are they doing everything and then after that basically later on? We're gonna go get injected and also Get the spine a little bit more in the spine and then do some more IV Security building over here at the uh, CB Cells Laboratory. They want to know who's coming in and out of here. Guys, we're over here at the laboratory with CB Cells. Uh, get ready to go in and check out the laboratory so we can actually see what, how they're culturing the stem cells, how they're putting everything together. This is important because the fact that a lot of times when you walk into a lot of places, you don't know what you're getting into. You don't know if you're getting real cells or you don't know if you're getting bunk shit, right? So this is exactly what we need to know is because to me it's really important what they're putting into me and in my body because they're actually going to do some IV, they're actually going to do some injection on my spine to try to get my bowel and try to get my my uh, my basically be able to pee normal, you know what I mean? So to me that's huge because a lot of times quality of life is everything, right? But of course, no doubt in my mind, I'm going to fucking walk, squat, and leg press, baby! <laughs> That, uh, it was there were several applications, not just one. It was about eight applications of stem cells. Ellos pudieron controlar el sphincter, but they they had their own control, including the sphincter and, 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 and even they had an erection. So it was only with eight applications, uh -huh. just eight. It's crazy. Uh, how, many, how many million each each application? Fifteen, uh, twenty millions. Cien, doscientos, trescientos, cuatrocientos, como quinientos millones divididos. It was about five hundred million stem cells totally. divided. Yes. On a weekly and monthly performance. So just just alone today, you're getting over 200. Just alone today. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's a lot of steps. Plus we had it all started. Yeah, but that's that's. I mean, just directly to the spot, it's a lot of stem cells concentrating in just one spot. Inclusive directly to the damage. One of them is camina en alberca. He said that even one of the one of those patients walks. In a pool, so on the water, on the water, he's able to move his legs and walk on the on water. Yes, baby, Here we, we go. are going in. <laughs> Into the laboratory. Uh, I mean, I give you guys a little tour from here. If that's cool. Uh, on your right hand side, you see some of the stem cells incubators. They're looking at the stem cells in a microscope right now. So you see those small boxes near to the biologist. This is where the stem cells are located. After she makes sure. Uh, she makes sure that the stem cells are fine, they're okay, they're growing enough, they don't have any bacteria on them, on them. She's able to process them 
on through the uh, it's called air uh, bail fluid uh, machine so we could process it into the vials so on, on, on your left hand side on the table you will see all the different type of equipment you need to process all the stem cells. Come over, come over here, Daniel. This is how a lab should look. A stem cells lab should look. So the light when it's all it's all blue and it's that, that's essential, right? Uh, yeah. Let, let me show you. Yes, it's essential. Why? It's called uh, the dark blue light. Is to kill all the bacteria inside. So uh, another thing, the bell fluid. You see that the, the the machine there yeah. with the light on. Uh, the main purpose of it is not to let in any bacteria inside what she's performing and, and, and processing the stems in the bio. So how does it work? Uh, she needs to place her hands in and has a, a small air curtain going down so it doesn't allow any bacteria to go in. Negative uh, pressure. It's negative nice. pressure, yes, system. So, uh, nice. so it's very important to know that. Yeah, we saw a lab where the people are just wearing masks, a mask and a hat, and then just it looks like a regular lab. For like white light. It, just, it didn't have the same light or anything like that? No, no, I, I, think I, think value value looked I don't know. I, but I don't no, know I'm saying that. we just saw a lab like that. I think that was from them. Okay. Now, this is something <laughs> different. Uh, we do take care of the good procedures and the, uh, and the standards done by Coffee Breeze because we have all our permits. And we take all the international procedures because we also are associated to the International Society of Stem Cells. What's called International Stem Cell Society. Uh, they are the persons <laughs> who actually uh, decide which stem cells are allowed, and which ones works, and which ones doesn't. So we are part of that society. So they let us know uh, the new regulations, the new medical protocols. So we just got done looking at the lab. Chris, tell me what you think about the setup. Hey man, it's all that, man. It's, it's very professional, it's everything is set up, you know, very proper, what you need, um, how it works, and everything else. So you know what, to me, I think this is one of the most professional places you're gonna find. To, to give the treatment what you're looking for. So we just left CV cells where we did the lab tour of where the uh, mesenchymal stem cells get harvested and cultured. And now we're on our way over to the hospital that CV cells has allocated for us to do the procedure today. Chris is going to be getting a spinal tap, 100 million stem cells. He's also going to be getting another 100 million stem cells IV. All right, guys, we're over here at the hospital. We're going to get some blood work done uh right now and then we're gonna wait a couple hours and then uh we're gonna go start the procedure <laughs> it, it, it's official right <laughs> it's official Okay, you had your pressure in your back, you have a little bandage there, okay. you could remove it tomorrow. Okay. You could see a little bleeding, could be, because uh, the needle is really, really, really little. Okay. Alright, so we just got to the airport, we're saying goodbye to our good buddy Chris here, he just came in town, did all the stem cell stuff possible for now, but he will be returning, okay, because it's not over, we need to do some more treatments. We need to do some more spine taps. We need to do some more IVs in the future. 
but we're all eagerly waiting to see, you know, what's going on, uh, what kind of feelings, what kind of progress we're going to get. So Chris and everybody's going to keep everybody else posted. And um, it's been a really good pleasure to get to meet this guy and be a part of all this. So I look forward uh, to seeing him more in the future and uh, getting it and getting what he wants. All right. Yes, Adios. sir. Making it happen.